have 100 subscribers. Hello, hello, hello. So the funny thing is I stayed up far too late last night making notes to make this video, having no clue that I was near having 100 subscribers. Holy cow! <laughs> Yay coincidences! Those are fun. Today's video is basically an abundantly apologetic trailer for the future of Squirrel's Bookshelf. And while I know that in the grand scheme of the YouTubes, 100 subscribers isn't that many, I do not want to take for granted any of you for one second because I really do appreciate every single person who has chosen to spend any moment of their lives watching content that I've created. So thank you. Just thank you. So with that in mind, I'm sorry that I've been gone so long. I've had a couple of video requests slash inquiries, so I want to let you know those are still coming. Life has just been a bit complicated recently. Without boring you with too many details, hopefully, um, let me explain where I've been lately. So my husband and I up until very recently have been living in a very small flat within a Regency style but Victorian era house. We love our flat. We have put a lot of sweat and love and ourselves into our flat. But the lack of space was really stifling creatively, which became oh so much more apparent recently due to recent events. Unfortunately, we both like to do things which require a bit of space, but we really only had one usable room in the flat. Now, pre-pandemic, I would often film my videos while my husband was out working because he worked later in the day than I did. But of course, lockdown. So while in lockdown, whenever, for instance, I wanted to record a video, my husband and our two dogs were basically confined to our tiny bedroom for hours. <laughs> the same went for me when Instead of a film studio, our living room was transformed into a recording studio. Side note, check out some of my husband's multi-instrumental, multi-track awesomeness if you feel like it. So we were both slowly plugging along, making do with the situation, and then the dreaded pandemic struck. And for a while, I was furloughed from my bookshop job, which actually gave me more time to do things like research and read and write, etc. However, my husband was suddenly teaching all of his pupils virtually, meaning our one usable room was pretty much permanently set up for that purpose. Yes, he teaches multiple large instruments, such as the double bass and the cello and the piano. So yeah, space. Anywho, my opportunities to film were all but annihilated, um, as was my motivation due to the situation. Then my husband and I had a long chat and realized we desperately needed to upsize and actually now is an opportune time to do so for many reasons. So when the lockdown restrictions lifted and we all felt safe to do so, we started partially moving our stuff out um, of our flat and into my mother-in-law's house where we currently are and where we have been for the last several weeks while we put our flat on the market and went house hunting. On top of that, my bookshop resumed business and I was given a promotion and extended hours. My husband and I each attempted to plan 30th birthday celebrations for each other amidst the COVID controlled world. And my UK spouse visa was up for renewal. So we were completely caught up with getting all of that together. We apparently just have a habit of piling on the major life events simultaneously. Anyway, I am pleased to say that both our flat and our prospective new house are sold subject to contract and my visa application is submitted pending approval, so everything is moving in the right direction. Knock on wood. Touch wood. I find it funny that the Brits are a bit lazier in that respect. So where does that leave this channel? Well, I have been working behind the scenes to resume things once we've gotten the chance to settle into our new place. So hopefully in the last couple months of the year, I'll have finally gotten into a more regular groove of uploading. I keep trying to think of things I could potentially film in the meantime, but honestly, 
all of my books and supplies are currently either in storage, welcome to the spare oom, or back at the flat, which we're hardly at anymore. But here's the thing. The new house is going to have dun, 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 a library room. Not just a library room, but my first iteration of my dream library room. I have been planning, I have been mood boarding, and I can't wait to sink my creative claws into the room I've picked out. So first off, I am going to document the transformation of my library room. There are certain things I'm going to do immediately upon moving in, but there are further intricacies that are probably going to evolve over time, so it might turn into a whole series playlist thing. Once the initial setup is done, however, my library will be my new filming location. And that's when I will resume all of the videos that I have planned. And those videos include the next couple of videos for Walt Disney's bookshelf. Bambi is all prepped and ready to go. And the following video, which will cover wartime at the Walt Disney Studios basically, is just about ready to go as well. I also have several more prop replica review videos in the works. There is one book that I forgot that I had until literally about a day ago, and that is our adventure book from Up, so I will do a review on that at some point. But I also have upgraded my Grey Sports Almanac from Back to the Future Part 2, thanks to a lovely viewer's suggestion, and I am obsessed. Um, I also bought it with a replica of the Ooh La La magazine, so I will be doing a video covering both of those as well. Coming shortly in the post are also a couple of Harry Potter prop replica books, so exciting. And then eventually I'll also have the Disney Store storybook replica journal things that they just came out with. I bought them through the US Disney Store rather than the UK Disney Store because they had a sale going on and so I had them shipped to my parents house which of course I have no idea when I'll be able to visit there again and pick them up but those are coming. I am really sad that they're so far away at the moment. I think that's all on that sort of front. Ooh, no, I will also have two follow-up videos regarding my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them first edition and Tales of Beat of the Bard, because those two replicas, which are journals, which I already reviewed, I mentioned that I'm actually going to um, replace the journal pages with one of the actual published books to turn it into a proper replica. So I do still have plans to do those. I just need the space and the tools and the setup obviously. I did have a question about that, so yes, those will come eventually. <laughs> Moving on in my coming soon-ish list. I actually do have a couple of more book repair tutorials. They're already filmed, they just need editing, and all the commotion of life I sort of forgot that they were sitting on my computer. So I will attempt to finish those in the near future to fill some of the void until I get to move into my new library. And then after I get those existing repair tutorials uploaded, the next repair tutorial I have planned is one that was requested, and that is how to remove pen marks and writing in books when it's actually possible. Finally, a few other miscellaneous videos that are completely, if not near completely, prepped and ready to be filmed, and those are a guide to book collecting on a budget, it will have some information about first editions as well, a video about the history of Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Now this will be the second video in my banned book series, the series on which my YouTube channel was founded, but hasn't seen another video since despite grand continued plans. If you haven't seen my first banned books video on The Handmaid's Tale, I'll pop it up right here. But yes, I've had this one in the works for quite a while. I don't know why it's taken me so long to actually finish it, but you know, gonna get it done. When we get around to Christmas time, I have a whole video prepped and ready to go about the books behind the most classic Christmas films. And then I have a couple of other ideas in various phases of planning and research, such as book vocabulary, which will cover terminology and history of books themselves. And I think I'm gonna call it from page to stage, which will be about the books that inspired musical theater, because I'm also a musical theater nerd. 
Now this will be in a similar format to my band book series and my Disney series in that each video will pretty much be focused on one specific show and the book that inspired that show. Spoiler alert, I am currently listening to the audiobook of Ron Chernow's biography of Alexander Hamilton. We both know what we know. So that's a teaser of everything I really have currently in the works. I do have a list of more videos I want to do eventually, but everything I've just covered will hold me over for quite a while, so I'll stop there. That being said, if you do have any questions or suggestions at any point, I'm always happy to hear from you down in the comments below. Please, just let me know. If you have actually watched all the way through my rambling, that is very kind of you. Thank you. Keep an eye out for those repair books I mentioned, but then after that, the next time I see you will be from my library. I can't wait. I hope you all are keeping well in these weird times. Be kind, be curious, be effective. Bye.